Welcome to uh, A Spirited Take in our special segment, You Read That? It's a time when we all mention uh, what book or books that we've been reading lately, thinking that you might have some interest in uh, uh, what's up in that regard. And let's, uh, let's start with you, Sean. What have you been uh, reading lately or what book uh, would you like to highlight or mention to everyone? I've uh, been reading two books lately. One is a, a book of poetry, actually. I'm a, I'm a bit of a poetry um, fan. And, really? Uh, I am. And I'm reading a collection of poetry by Billy Collins, who was the former poet laureate of the U.S. And he's, a, I would say, a pretty spirited poet. Um, so I'm reading a collection of poetry of his called Aimless Love. And wow. uh, it's, it's great. And it's actually been really important for me in this season. Uh, poetry has a way of slowing your heartbeat down and slowing your whole body down when you read it and sort of ingest it. So that's been an important kind of spiritual practice. So Billy Collins, Aimless Love. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Matthew, what have you been reading that's exciting these days? Um, I've been reading a lot on emotional intelligence because I'm working on a particular project related to it. And um, it's not the most exciting <laughs> reading, but, it, but it, is, it is very interesting looking at just the core emotional intelligence competencies and the impact they have on um, just our performance in life but even more importantly, just on our well-being, our ability to be self-aware and our ability to manage what it is we experience within ourselves and then the ability to recognize what other people are feeling and the ability to then manage that relationship with them, with their emotions and our own emotions. And so it's these relational emotional transactions that we have on a day-to-day -day basis and just learning to be more aware of of how they work and what we're responding to and how we're responding etc and um, it's good stuff good and you uh have fish just finished writing a uh, a new book is that correct the mindful breathing workbook for teens yep and when does uh when does that come out mm, this summer Fantastic. We look forward to that. Thank you. Uh, the book that I've been uh, reading and just finished is uh, titled Sleep by Nick Littlehales. And uh, Littlehales was a consultant to some of the great athletic teams uh, of the world after spending some of his time uh, in the sleep uh, industry selling mattresses and everything else under the sun. And what he uh, did was he helped high-performing athletes uh, uh, toward higher performance by increasing and enhancing their sleep. And so he did a number of, of studies and he uh, has captured all that in this book simply titled Sleep. And he talks about the importance of uh, paying attention to our circadian rhythms, uh, what kind of uh, environment we sleep in. Uh, he even talks about uh, that uh, uh, the way we go and buy mattresses and stuff like that is a little bit uh, of, a, of a scam. And uh, it's really a fascinating book. He also is a major advocate of thinking not in terms of an eight hour sleep cycle, and that's what's important for us, uh, but to have segments or sections and we can break it up during the day. And he talks about the importance and value of, of taking naps, which uh, frankly, I'm a big believer in. Come so. In. He counts you in. Uh, well, I've always noticed people uh, enjoying an, an important nap during church. Uh, that's maybe one of the big benefits, right, of, having, uh, of not having people there is uh, there's no one snooze, and, uh, at least that we're aware of during church. So, so that's, uh, you read that, and we'll periodically uh, update you on the kinds of things that we're reading, and we'll look forward to seeing you again on A Spirited Take. Mm -hmm.